welcome back. So, I'm a woman in business and I've learned quite a lot in the last couple of years about business and it's really interesting how I did a law and business degree for four years and spent quite a lot of money on that degree but actually no, haven't really used any of it and I was thinking to myself as I was driving I wish I knew more about business about what God said about business and actually the school system doesn't really teach me about being an entrepreneur and all things business I thought it would be really cool to do a, some sort of a business series or just talk about my business journey and just talk about business entrepreneurship women in business sorry men I am a woman in business but I'm sure there's lots of things that we can talk about and the first thing is the power of networking. I very quickly learned that my net worth is dependent on my network. The power and the importance of networking, of socializing, of speaking to other people who are in the same field, who are further along in the journey than you, and also people who are upcoming and people that you can, networking is important speaking to people, exposing yourself, going to networking events, reaching out to people on LinkedIn, on Facebook, on Instagram, anywhere I can. I will, if there's someone I want to speak to, I will search, that sounds really stalkerish, I will find out about them, go on their website and actually just drop them a message. There is no harm in reaching out to people and saying, hey, I'm interested in what you do and I would love to learn more and know more about the field that you're in. That has got me in many places and many spaces by just reaching out to people. People are friendlier than you think, especially in business. So an example is I had a meeting with a lady yesterday because I, I, I reached out to her in her Instagram DMs. And I just said, hey, I've got a similar kind of company that you have. And I noticed that you're further along in the journey than I am. And I'd love to learn from you. And two minutes later, she reached out. She was like, yeah, absolutely. Let's jump on a Zoom call. And yesterday we spent an hour and she was just telling, telling me her journey and sharing her journey. And she just gave me some advice, which I was I really appreciated. And after that, she was like, here's my number. Let's connect. I'll be in Leicester at, at such, such, such a date and we can meet up and have coffee just like that and yeah so it's just small things networking do not be afraid to network and also just investing in other people's products and services as well you can't expect people to buy into whatever you're selling if you're not investing in other people's so it's not just reaching out to someone just because you want something actually being interested in what they have to offer and buying the product or buying the service so it's yeah so and, and buying their service and genuinely being interested in what other people are doing because everyone's grinding everyone's working everyone's in business to make a profit and do better for themselves so it's not just about selfishly what you want it's about also supporting other people and even small things like a share it's free it doesn't cost anything supporting other people in their businesses as well and those things are planting seeds into your own business you reap what you sow so network get out of network if you want to be in business if you're in business don't you are not an island you cannot do life by yourself you are not designed to be by yourself and trying to do a business. You are, your business doesn't exist in a vacuum. It's not just you. You need people and equally people need you. It's not just about you reaching out to people. Actually, people should be able to reach out to you as well. To all my fellow business people, I was about to say business women, business people, entrepreneurs, be friendly be approachable be likable those are the basic skills if you are selling a service selling a product being approachable being likable being friendly those things go a long way and being willing to learn from others i am very can i is it humble to say i'm very humble but what i mean by that is i love learning and i acknowledge that i can get i can you give me an orange and i'll find a lesson in the orange that's the type of person i am being humble enough to actually say i don't know this i'm gonna go out and find someone who does know it and sit under their feet and learn i will i have i will shamelessly unapologetically reach out to you if i think you can help if i think you have a piece of knowledge that i know 
I will be reaching out unapologetically, shamelessly, because we need each other out here. It's a it's an interesting world in the business world. So we need each other. And it's all about empowerment at the end of the day. I get, I get great success and great pleasure of seeing my friends and my family succeed. So yeah, network. Don't be afraid to reach out. Sometimes you want to come across as knowing everything or being the best in the game. But every single person that is successful has a network of people around them who are there to support who are there to encourage who are there to feed in so no you can't do business in a vacuum and if you thought you could you can't you can't do business alone you need your network and your network is your net worth your network determines how much money you've got in the bank and it's so true imagine this your next business venture is probably in someone else's hands right now and it's just about tapping into that one word or that one thing or that one connect that could open so many doors for you but you're in your house not wanting to network get out there and put yourself out there and market yourself and talk about what you do and this is one thing I really struggled with not that I struggled with it I just wasn't used to talking about business and talking about me and what I do so don't be afraid to say hey I have a business in this I do this because someone else might be looking for that particular service or that particular product um and boom mention it and at the very least they now know that you exist and when maybe they're talking to someone else they'll say hey I know someone who does this or someone who's into this and that is networking and this is a prime example of networking. I was um, at a school and I was speaking to one of the teachers about uh, a, a project. And I don't know how we started talking about something. And I was like, oh, I, w- I really want to get into this space. And she was like, oh, say less. I know this person who's quite big in the game. Let me call them. Right there and then she called that person. And then I had a conversation with him. That afternoon, that man was at my house. That afternoon, he was at my house because he was like, okay, I'm free after four. If you come get me, we can come and speak and then I'll, I, I will, we can talk face to face. Four o'clock on the dot, I was on the phone to him. I was like, hey, you said four o'clock. Are you free now? Went to go collect him. He came to my house. Oh, four o'clock. He came to my house and oh my goodness. That's, that's what I'll say about that. Oh my goodness. Just that conversation with that teacher led me to another area where it, the, the topic wasn't even related. It wasn't even connected in any way, shape or form. But they knew someone in that area. And by that afternoon, he was at my house and I was speaking to him and we've been speaking ever since. And he's become my mentor. He is my mentor in that area. He said, you know what? I will help you. Um... And I'll help you just like that. But it, it, it was so surreal. But just by the power of networking, saying, not being afraid to say what you want to do, um, what you're currently doing and where you want to go. That interaction unlocked, quite literally unlocked something that I wanted to do that I was scratching my head trying to figure out how am I going to get into this? How am I going to do this? I don't know anyone in that area. And just by one conversation boom so you never know who you're speaking to and you never know that person's network or that person's contact list so get networking honestly network your network if you get nothing else from this video know that your net worth is dependent on your network if you are the richest person in your friends list or in your contact list you need a new contact list if you're the if you're the most successful person or the richest person or the wealthiest person amongst your friends you need new friends and i'm not saying this to be um condescending i'm saying you need a variety of people in your life you need people who are further along in you in in life than you who you can lean to for help and support also you can be that person that can help other people up if you have the most knowledge you have the most everything you're not growing you're not growing you're not learning you're stagnant 
And there's a danger in that, in thinking that there's this arrival mentality. If you're here and everyone else you know is down here, you think you've arrived because you think you're at the top. Whereas if you expose yourself to people who are doing better than you in any area or every area who are doing better than you, all of a sudden you realize, I know nothing. I'm, I've got a lot, I, I, there's more, there is more out there. So I purposely try and find people who are way ahead, who are just a little bit ahead, who are slight, ever so slightly ahead because I can learn. I can learn from the person who's six months ahead of me. I can learn from the person who's three years ahead of me and the person who's 20 years ahead of me. But though that gives me uh, a vision, number one, that it's possible. It gives me a vision that I can speak to these people if I need anything and they're able to help me because I've got the knowledge, the wisdom and the expertise And also just a sounding board. Sometimes business can be, yeah, it can be a lot. And sometimes you just need someone to tell you, yeah, I've been there. I did this and this. It's okay. It'll be fine. That one conversation can be the can be the conversation that will help you to not quit or help you to not give up. I say this to say, network, get out there go to events there are so many networking events there are so many events business events business summits organizations who are doing things get out there don't just be a person in their own little world in their own little bubble in their own little cocoon and the rest of life is just happening around you get out there and mingle mingle network speak to people connect to people and don't be don't be afraid to plug yourself and tell people what you do or what you want to do because they could help you or they could know someone who's gonna introduce you to someone who introduce you to someone else i learned my lesson from the teacher friend who then connected me to someone that it, it doesn't even have to be anything big it can be just a small conversation that will lead and get you to the next stage of where you want to be so watch out for more business chronicles i'm currently on my way to a coffee shop every week i like to get out of the house and go for coffee with myself with my laptop and do some work i'm currently on my way to the coffee shop gonna have some coffee maybe some lunch it's half 11 yeah maybe some lunch there for a couple of hours and then go back home and call it a day happy networking see you in my next video I love currently raining. I love having um, coffee at my local farm. It's this cutest place with the cutest food.